Welcome everyone back to another Bold Cast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Binlin Saga. Episode, season two, episode 13. Mm-hmm. Things are really starting to go down the shitter in this show. And on our channel. Yeah. <laughs> Check out our recent, uh, like, update post if you want to know more about that. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be switching to timer reactions for Patreon, but you can get the, t the uncut reaction for this show and many others. Uh, unfortunately, that also means that we will probably have to keep pausing to a minimum. We might pause once or twice maximum, but uh, we, won't, we can't really do because of all the copyright stuff that's going on. If we want to give uncuts to Patreon, we can't be pausing all the time because people have to sync up every time we do. And uh, yeah, it just makes a whole mess. So unfortunately, that'll be affected, but hopefully you guys won't notice too much of a difference going forward. Mm -hmm. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon right now to keep us alive, to keep us going, to see blue lock reactions mm -hmm. up to, I think at the time of recording, it's up to episode eight for uncuts. So check that out. Let's go. Oh God. What is this? It's the old man. He died while making dinner. Oh, no. Not quite. What's happening? Is it already? Oh, no. Time skip? Einar? Come on. Do they sell him off? I don't know. Or is this, I don't know. Oh shit. Jesus. Seems a bit late. How many more years was he a slave? Oh no, man. Oh. What the hell? What happened when we got back, dude? I don't, some real shit went down, that's for for certain. Einar is gonna have a kid? Oh god, man. And they think that they're all free, and meanwhile they're gonna roll up like... This has been too long, but it's only been a few years. 
それは確かに奉公人とは仲悪いけどさなここにいればさそのうちアルナイズさんを解放するチャンスが来るかもしれないはあ驚いたよそこまで惚れてたのか<笑>よせよそんなんじゃない it's, it's, it's kind of like that <笑>ここにいればさ。ほら、ほら。I was looking around for a weapon. Well, that's what he was working on. Oh, right. <gasps> Shit. Oh, he's alive? Or is he? Oh my god. Like, barely. I want those little sausages and the berries. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> He's not pleased. <laughs> mm, to get her out of the out of, out of her house. Too proud. <laughs> Doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of his three adopted grandsons. <laughs> So hungry. <laughs> See, why can't they all just like live and work here and just like have a great time forever? <laughs> Is history gonna like start to repeat itself? Did they get offered <clears throat> like money to go and like help this other guy recover his slave? And they're gonna leave. Oh, oh no, that. 
Holy shit. Oh wait, that, that was like a, that was a different. That was a guy. different guy. I tell you, just said it wasn't. I'm bad it at looks, recognizing people. It looked like Einar. That's why I was saying it. I completely read that situation wrong. It just looks He's like an older Einar. Praised. I guess, yeah, they have the, the similar beard and they're wearing the similar, like, shirt. Yeah. It looks like a trap. Shut up. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> he is obviously not asleep, you fucking morons. <sighs> I would just leave these guys alone before they get killed. I literally so fucking dumb. Those guys are dead. <laughs> yeah, GG's on that one. What's he listening to? Snake reading him that book from the OP. Mm. Mm. Makes sense with all the imagery in his dreams and stuff like we were talking mm -hmm. about. <laughs> は悪人にも善人にも太陽を昇らせ正しいものにも正しくないものにも雨を降らせてくださるからである自分を愛してくれる人を他に どんな優れたことをしたことにもあろうと異邦人ですさえ同じことをしているではないかというにあなた方も完全なものとなりなさいかええ無茶色なっつうのジジイ福井署はもう飽きたぜ大事の方を読もうぜまだ心より面白い Seems to be a bit of a pertinent <laughs> Thing. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to go fucking work. Oh my god. This is rough. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to be just, you know, hanging out in the in the house and going crazy and not dying. Doing anything. Yeah.
はあどんなもこんなも別に何でもねえよじじいがくたばったらあの本もらって売っ払おうと思ってるだけさ<笑> I guess a Bible of that quality would be worth a lot of money Probably it looked really fancy Yeah, to the right buyer, like if somebody was willing to pay for it, it'd probably be worth a lot, like because there's no books in this、yeah. time, like in general. It takes a lot, lot to make one. And it must have been translated into Norse unless he knows English. He must know English too, then. Yeah. Just from washing clothes all the time, just like. Oh boy. Oh, is that guy? He stole their horses. Now he's riding there. They're gonna have to fight because、oh, no. it's just them. Oh, Jesus. Be careful. Oh, and she recognized him. Is, is she who he was looking for? It's, it might be her brother. Did she have a brother? Or her husband? She doesn't talk about herself. Maybe her husband? Yeah. That would be interesting. Whoa, that's <laughs> so cool. It looks like an evil version of Einar. <laughs> I know it does. Garter. Is she gonna choose to run or stay? Oh no, that's a flashback! I see.、Mm. I thought that that was a flash forward. Is this the rest of the season gonna be just the peace in the few days that it will take them to get back? That would be crazy. I'm figuring out with this guy and how it's all gonna go down. That's why,、Ugh. okay, what I was gonna say is that makes sense why. She take, has taken a liking to Einar because he, he looks, looks like her like husband.、Him. Yeah. And she's just been. She's just been. He's like. He's just like. A, he's like. He's like the, the very sweet,、uh, like, naive version just of her husband. Like, he's clearly, like, a super badass. Been, like, you know, kill all those guys and is, like, flying around on a horse and is, like, super awesome. Meanwhile, Einar is just, like,. Yeah, I'll, I'll punch you if you rip out my wheat. Did she know English? I forget if she knew English, if maybe she was a slave taken from England. No, Arnheen, that's a pretty. That doesn't、yeah. sound. But I mean, Einar said the same thing about Einar. I was thinking maybe they were like, taken back from, from England as slaves. We don't know anything about their backstory. No. She, she keeps it really close to the chest because it's probably really. Sad, yeah, she probably and, lost her child, well, right? And, and it's no, no good to tell anyone, like, if Kettle, you know, it, you know, is confiding in you, and yeah, it it's, it's like, all about give, him. Give, He's give just it, like, yeah, and then, he, and like, it would be bad if she's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm married, yeah, you know, it would change the and, relationship. And he, he, she's like his little dream girl over there that can, you know. So, yeah. Help、Perfect、him out and so solve、thing. all his problems, and、yeah. and she's just like whatever he wants her to be,、um, and that's interesting as well. How the the wife or whatever sent her away and was like, oh yeah, you have to live there now. Yeah, and it's too bad that her husband showed up because, like you know, even though the old man's dying, like you know, there's they're, they're, they're kind of having like a good time here. This is like the best time since they've been on the farm because. Thorfinn and Einar are technically like done.、Mm -hmm. So they're just working here with, on the old man's farm. And,、um, same, and then she gets assigned here, and then Snake's just here, and they're, they're all just kind of like hanging out, and it's really sad, but at least they're all together. And now this just really complicates it because, like, is either she leaves, and then she can get tracked down and killed for that, or. She doesn't leave, and like, what's he gonna do? Because it seems like he killed all those guys just to come and get her and run away.、Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, regardless of what happens, if Leaf shows up with Kettle and everyone else, what, like, it's just like there's so many things that are like 
set up and it's like you don't know what you don't know when leaf's gonna show up you don't know when if she's gonna go you don't know if snake's gonna go after you don't know if they're gonna like i don't like i don't know it's 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 yeah. crazy it's, it can go in a million different directions right now mm -hmm. uh -huh. i wonder if it's an intent if it if i what like to me the whole thing of that guy at the start possibly being einar to me seems like it like a uh, a clear misdirection, like a red herring, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure if it actually is, or if, or if I just, if I just didn't know, because it looks like him. It kind of sounds like him. I don't really think it sounds like I. I'm not good at like recognizing. I don't know if stuff. if I just yeah. Th that's my question. Is I guess to, to the viewers, like if 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 that was just our bad or my bad, or if um. Or, or if maybe that was an intentional thing, maybe to people who've read the manga, if that was like, because obviously there's no voice actor in the manga, mm. if that was an intentional thing, because like once they're going after the slave, it's like, wait, no, it's not Einar. But then all these like flashbacks in the in the OP as well, um, yeah, to what looked like Arnid and Einar, like raising a child together or something, um, seem. But it's no, it's Garter or Gardar or however you pronounce it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's a lot we don't know about her, because, I mean, she they lost a kid, presumably neither of them have their child. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it, maybe, I don't know, maybe the child, the child probably would have gone with Arnie if it survived to them being taken as slaves. You but would maybe think it was so, or they him. got sold off separately. separately. That would suck. Which would be horrific. Um. I, I wonder what's gonna happen here. Is he going to turn himself in, or is he going to like he'll die? He's he's killed people now, but like, is he just gonna run off, or is he gonna try take take her with him, or is he gonna have to duel Snake? Or yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, and it's like he'll probably you know, have to fight Snake. But Snake said, "Don't try too hard to, don't don't kill, don't get yourself killed trying to yeah. say trying to and catch he, this it would guy." It'd be like a one v one with this guy. I mean, Snake might win, but this guy has like the desperation. Yeah. On his side. Snake's really good. And it would like what would that do to Arnie if if her if she watches her husband die in front of her after all this time? Like probably holding out hope this whole time to see him again, probably. Mm -hmm. Just praying. So I'm, not, I'm not sure if she'll go or I don't know. That shot is so cool though. That was really cool. Make him look so badass. I feel like I don't have as much to say. I mean, there's this. the old man. Yeah. The old man getting fed Just and everything being and them having fun. stubborn and... Thorfinn laughing and having fun. Mm-hmm. Like, actually chuckling and laughing. And be being interested in, in, the Bible. in the Bible. Yeah, I, I'm glad that they made that that explicit connection because it, it makes it it makes all the previous, like, symbolism in his dreams and his, his trauma and all of his flashbacks and everything and the way he thinks about everything, associating his dad with, like, the sacrificial lamb and stuff like that associating mm -hmm. hell with uh you know beneath the ground is that's where valhalla is and the peaceful heaven is above and everything and all that stuff it's, it's very clear christian symbolism and it makes more sense if you are if you know and you're and you're thinking about that but if you're not thinking about that then this is still it still fits with everything even if you're not consciously yeah. like it's, breaking it everything is cool down. though because you were like noticing that before and being like oh this is interesting that there's a lot of this christian stuff in here yeah um and now they kind of kind of bring that back around and it makes sense why he would be so interested when he's hearing like passages that sort of reflect how he's kind of unconsciously been thinking, uh, about thinking about things or c categorizing things or y y y like his way of looking at the world is kind of making sense as he's hearing mm -hmm. this so so that's kind of interesting for him mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. I, I yeah, I, I really and, like that connection that he's that he is actually interested in Christianity. That's such a cool thing. Yeah, and and Snake, yeah, he's all like, oh, I'm just here to inherit this book. But I mean, obviously, he cares about him. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the, the interesting detail about the about the book. Yeah, oh, sorry, we were talking about you wanted to talk about the his rela their relationship. Uh, yeah, so I was just say, that, saying yeah. it's it's obvious that Snake really cares about him, and he really cares about Snake. And I don't know. It, like obviously his family is still around like kettle and the his two sons are there but it's like they just 
it's it seems like they don't, they don't hang out with him, you know. They're not over there having dinner with him every night. Yeah. But Snake is, and and they kind of keep each other company because Snake prefers to stay here with the old man first of all to get breakfast, but also because clearly to he, stay yeah. away from those dumb fuckers that are at the at at their camp, you know. I think, and I think eventually he just likes him. Like yeah, he that, probably that, started out like, oh, this is an easy breezy job. I get to sleep in. I get to, you know, have my meals made for me by this guy, and then I just, you know, chill out. I don't even have to work on the farm. I just have to protect him and look after him, make sure he doesn't die. Yeah. And then eventually he starts caring about well, him. Well, it's not even that he's really protecting him. He's still, he's still just the same as all the other guards, and he's in charge. But he just stays there instead of in, like, the, the with all the other the guys. Camp on the, yeah. On the shore. Like, he, he just comes here instead. So... It's nice. I like it. I like the detail, like, he must be reading English, right? Because does Thorfinn know English? Or or is or is Snake translating that? Uh... There's no text on here, so I can't tell if that is, if it's an English book or, but if it's a Bible, it must, it probably is an English book. But there were people who worshipped Christianity in other parts of Europe and stuff. I mean, clearly, because they're not in England and the old man. Is Christian. Yes, yeah. Well, yeah, then there's like, a, you know, the whole thing with Christmas and stuff like that and, and converting Christmas into like a Christian holiday and stuff. And uh, sort of, they, there was a lot of work to try and absorb um, Scandinavians into English culture to try and stop them from destroying everything. But um, yeah, I just, I was just interested in that because that, because whether or not it's, it's an act, it's a Bible from that, that, that was plundered from. England or was or was printed here in Norse changes who who we what we could possibly glean from Snake's backstory mm. and what brought him here or what his mercenary band is about and stuff like that his whole backstory because maybe he does have ties to England maybe he is like a world traveled guy and he's actually a super badass more than we thought maybe you know if he does if he does know multiple languages mm. and he's translating actively to the old man and that's why he needs him to read for it, not just because his eyes are bad, but because he can't read English or something. I don't know. Um, but if that's the case, then Thorfinn, I don't think Wouldn't, I don't no, think he don't understands think. English that well. I think he was learning when he was with Canute, mm -hmm. and he was learning from um, uh, the, whatever Canute's like teacher guy Ragnar, I think, um, and shit. But so maybe not. Maybe it's just in, it's printed in Norse, and I'm overthinking it. But. You never know, because it's it, we talk about this a lot with the different languages being all presented in Japanese. It makes things kind of difficult. Yeah, and it's a it's a problem also in the Vikings TV show, like the live action show as well, because they're like speaking in with weird like accents <laughs> in English, and then when they actually talk to people who are speaking actual English, they like totally switch up the way they're they're talking, and it's just like what you guys were talking that shit the whole time. I had no idea. <laughs> you don't think about it until you think about it, but yeah. Anyway, I'll, I just th those details to me are really interesting because, like, because the culture and the location and everything, because the story is so well written and it's all about like taking place in these certain places at these certain times with different, I don't know, things. It just all that stuff is really interesting to me. It and it and it adds a lot and it's clearly thought about. It's just that I can't pick it up that well, I guess. Sick Vinland Saga season two. Make sure to leave a like. Um, and check out Patreon for the uncut for the mm -hmm. episode. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay.